the way to my residency. visita para mi residencia en Uruguay, pero primero maquillaje. <ríe> me gusta y no tengo tiempo para caminar, so esto es necesito y listo. <ríe> All ready to go. Got all our documents. Yeah, my jacket's right here. Let's hope that this appointment actually goes well. Well, I mean, not that the last one didn't go well, it got us this appointment, but I hope that we actually like get something substantial today. <laughs> Que es todo familiar de uruguayo que la mitad de los meses exteriores. Van a tener que cenarse para. Uh, so because I'm Uruguayan and yeah. you're not, it's going to be easier, but because you. Uh, it, in other words, it's not their job. It's. um. Whose job is it then? The Ministry of uh, Rela Exterior Relations and Cooperation. Well, Basically, what my dad did. Basically, where we went to where they sent us to come here. <sighs> Um, she was nice though, I didn't know I wasn't going to get mad at her, so yeah. she was just like, look. And that's the thing, it's not her fault, no, 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 but it's no, no, just no, no, like... No, 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 but it's also that little piece of paper, how fucking hard would it be? And also, like, when we walk, when we came here to book the fucking thing, tell us then. Yeah, why did they book us in if we didn't need to come? And then we had to pay for the fucking thing, and they were like, oh, well, unfortunately we can't uh, reimburse you for the money. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the house now. I was hoping to be able to show you like a little piece of paper, be like, woo, look at this, I'm on my way to my residency. But of course, that didn't happen. At this point, honestly, it's hard to even be surprised when things go wrong or just like don't turn out the way they were supposed to. I'm also gonna just sit here and curl my hair while I explain this, by the way, so don't mind me. We got them and they, it was all going fine. They sent us straight in. We were like two or three minutes late. So we went straight in, talked to the people, sat down in our little booth. And they started asking if we had all our stuff. I had my passport with us. I had my like certificate of vaccinations, not COVID. That's a whole other story again. But I did have my like vaccinations that I needed for the process. I explained this all in my previous video. And we had our marriage certificate, but they also apparently needed for that process they needed a like, health checkup so we were supposed to have gone to cosm or casm or whatever and gotten a health checkup done which they didn't tell us last time then they start asking more questions like, do you have this do you have that to alejandro like where are you like where are you from are you uruguayan he's like yes i'm uruguayan my mother's from here They're like okay well like where else are you from were you born here he's like no i was born in south africa for whatever reason, 
apparently that was the wrong office for us to even be in in the first place even though when we were there a month ago they told us that this is what we needed to do they booked the appointment for us and we'll like come back in a month which is the most moronic thing because they can't even the see only, you the, the people up. the people that are supposed to know this who it is their office they're in charge of all this shit the first time we were there and we were booking the appointment they should have gone oh actually you know there should have been an automatic red flag in their system going oh cool you know you actually shouldn't be doing this you should go to the uh, you know office of the cooperation next like yeah so they're telling us now that we have to go to a different office because even after though they made us pay so they got our money and then they were like actually yeah. you know what and we can't reimburse you even though we fucked up so we had to pay for this appointment to have and then we had to wait a month from the last time i spoke to you about this and but because he's technically a foreigner even though he has uruguayan like citizenship because he's a dual citizen he counts as like a foreigner still so we have to go to the is it the foreign ministry now we have to go to the fucking office of my dad is basically just what the uruguayan version so the, the just the diplomatic office just to figure yeah. out even though we went to there previously and they told us that they couldn't help us and that turned us away. That was the first office we went to where they said that we had to go to, the, to this other office. Um, so basically the, the Uruguayan government is garbage. Nothing makes sense. Baby. Everything's shit. Over it. Like I've tried to back everything up, but the, con the like the government, everybody complains that the government like doesn't work. Yeah, of course it doesn't work because there's no intercommunication between the departments. Nobody f knows what the f is going on. Nobody talks to anyone. Nobody knows what the regulations or the systems are in place. They have no like. A Do you want like, to quickly explain what they actually function as shit? It's easy. It's fine. Yeah. F suck my f left nut. Goddamn. Chupame mi juego. La derecha. I need my left one, but you can take my right one and suck on that one all f***ing day. So we did not have a good, successful morning, let's leave it at that. So now we need to call the bunch of people and honestly, it, it really is just a joke because you'd think if you go to a government office, they, they should have known where we should go and they should have told us what we needed. Even if... Like, even if we could have gotten it done today, they would have said, oh, actually, no, you need a health a health check first. But when we came a month ago, they didn't tell us that we needed to book a health check. It was mentioned once online that you needed a health checkup, but nowhere does it say what you actually need checked up. So it wasn't like, okay, you need to go to your doctor, you need to get a blood test, you need to get this, you need to do that. They didn't tell you what you needed. It just said, get a health check, which is not very specific. Similarly with the vaccinations, it says you need like vac vacunas uruguaya. So you needed like Uruguay vaccines. And I was like, what the hell is a Uruguay vaccine? So when we looked it up, we found out that it was measles, mumps, rubella and tennis. So it's all like the standard ones, but for whatever reason, they listed it as like vacunas uruguayo. Which anyway, so we got all that done. We had all the steps in place. And they also mentioned something about like a police clearance. And we we're like, okay. When I looked at the website online, I was under the impression that the police clearance, like it, it wasn't relevant because I'm married to a Uruguayan, that I shouldn't need the police clearance, which I, I do have one recently because I needed one for university anyway. So I have a police clearance from I think two or three years ago that would still be valid, but I don't have a copy of it here because again, like no one told us that we needed one. So now we don't even know who we're supposed to contact, where we're supposed to go. It was just a whole big mess. What the country needs is just more communication between the offices because we have just been like bouncing around between all these different offices, calling these people, emailing these people, and then someone will say, oh no, you should have actually contacted these people. And like we will contact whoever we're supposed to contact, but how, how are we supposed to know? How, how are we supposed to know who we're going to contact if the people at the government offices don't even know who we're supposed to contact? So, yeah, so I'm just doing my hair right now because I need to go and like film some other stuff and like get some stuff done for work. I'm also trying to edit a video today. So this is supposed to be a little day in the life of just like going to the residency appointment, giving you a little update on that. I thought we'd go for coffee, maybe get some lunch in the city. I wanted to go check out a few secondhand stores in Ciudad Vieja. Maybe go to the Asian store and get some more, some more of their fresh tofu. But that just didn't happen because we were frustrated. We did go to a little coffee shop. It's like a coffee shop within a store and we bought a few plates and things. So I'll show you those 
when I'm done with my hair. We got a laptop. I got a knife. <laughs> we decided after a long time to finally get a new laptop. We basically wanted one since we moved here, but the prices in Uruguay are just kind of outrageous. And this one, when we finally found it, was more expensive than it is in the US, but not like crazily But not expensive. Uruguay expensive, so. Yeah, it wasn't like twice the price, it was just like a few hundred more. Yeah. So we were like, screw it, we waited long enough. Let's just get it. You ready? Second. You're in? Yeah. Woohoo! So we finally got into the laptop, removed all the passwords, got into the Apple ID, but Alejandro is just sitting over at the desk now and I thought even though the laptop is far more exciting than what we got earlier today, I do still want to show you what we got at the homeware store while he sets up the laptop. It's just going to be so nice to be able to both work at the same time. I know. Wow. The place we went to today is called Deco. What's that? Fogar? That's definitely not how you would pronounce it, but close enough. I just got two little bowls and two plates, and then Alejandro got a an apron as well. <coughs> so I just got these two plates. Everything we got is different they're not from a set and they all seem to be handmade i'm assuming based on the fact that every single one of these green bowls has little defects but this one has that spot in the middle so i figure with food on it you probably won't even be able to see it whereas some of the others had like spots around the edges but this will just mean that i'm if i'm taking any pictures for instagram like of my food or videos and things so it'll actually look nice because the plates we have Currently, are just ones that we got like gifted by like secondhand from family when we first moved here because we didn't have anything, and we've been using those same ones this whole time. Same with our bowls. We just got two really plain, simple little bowls. So these will be nice for like cereal or oatmeal or whatever. If I'm doing a what I eat in a day video, actually the food will look aesthetic for once. See, so yeah, not crazy exciting, but this definitely goes along with like the home renovationy stuff. It'll just be nice to have dishes that are nice and that we've intentionally bought. And these are pretty cheap. These only cost, the, this bowl was like 100 pesos. I think this one's 120 or 130. And then the plates were 170 each. So that's pretty good. I've seen most of the places here sell them for about double this. So it's a pretty decent price. It is the next day now. I have no idea how much I actually filmed yesterday. It also was not a very typical day in your life here in Uruguay. So I'll definitely do more of these videos every now and then just to kind of sprinkle in some day in the life or week in the life content because I know it can be helpful to, well, one, I just like watching them. I enjoy watching people just like normal everyday stuff, but also to anyone who's moving here to kind of see the scenery, what we get up to, where we go, all things like that. So I will try to do another like trip into Ciudad Vieja soon because yesterday obviously did not go to plan. Maybe next time we have a meeting, we'll make a full day out of it, go grab some lunch, go look at some thrift stores, things like that, because that would just be a much more exciting day than what we got up to yesterday. But the laptop so far is going really well. We've just been like spending some time setting it all up. I've also been sitting down to prepare a video for my channel, so I'm just gonna sit and film that now. So yeah, I'll check over the footage, see if I have enough. I think it should be enough for at least like a short vlog, so I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or anything you want us to show in the future, as always, comment down below all of your suggestions. And we'll see you next time. Ciao. Getting an apartment to rent or to buy without being in the country used to be pretty much impossible. There's rent and then gastos comunes. The same of no stupid questions. They don't really have that same saying here and they would not rent us the apartment without having this guarantee. 